blast. Us Spartans really know how to kick off the new school year. Definitely, and what a better way to show it to our wonderful Spartans than our first show. I'm Alice Gonzalez. And now I'm Brian Moreno. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to Spartan, Spartan TV. TV. Spartans, don't forget our campus blood drive will be held on September 27th in the gym. Be sure to pick up the permission slip in the student store. The homecoming dance will be September 12th from 6.30 to 10 p.m. Tickets are in sale now. See the bookkeeper for more details. Hey, Brian, you think you'll go to the dance? Maybe. Can you dance? Oh no, I can't dance for nothing. I got two left feet. Well, here at Harupa Hills, we have a class full of students who wish to express their feelings through the art of dancing. This class is taught by no other than the wonderful and talented Miss Buchanan. Let's watch this fe featured package to know a little bit more about the dance class. major challenges is finding students that are willing to devote the energy, the effort, the work ethic that it takes, and the precision, dedication. All those things are challenges for students, I think. I consider dance to be art, but it also teaches you more than just art. Because in, in precision, it teaches you where to put the, whether to put a negative sign or a positive sign. Because you have to be precise in your dance movements, whether you're hitting something hard or soft or fluid or whatever. So it teaches you to be precise. And you need to take that same precision into your classwork. So yeah, it's an art form, but we have to understand that there's a correlation between art and, any, and everything that you'll do in your life. I was raised with dance, so I started dancing at four or five years old. So, and at the same time, I was an A student, so I graduated as the of my high school class. And my degree is in electrical engineering. So, how do I feel about art? Or how do I feel about dance? I think that it has helped me to understand that all things are possible, and all things are possible through Christ. That's, 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 that's biblical, too, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Two, three, four, and one, five. Come on, six, and... Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think dance is actually for everybody. People don't understand, like even athletes. Like Michael Jordan took ballet, okay? I mean, because when we talk about a 360 turn, you're talking about spotting and, 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 and trying to keep your eye on that basket and stay focused. Or if you're talking about you're watching the court, if you're coming down the field and you're playing soccer and you got to watch your wings on your left or your right, you know what I'm saying? So it teaches you all kinds of things. It teaches you schoolwork, it teaches you sports, Teach you agility. You're a football player. You gotta have. You gotta have fast feet work. If you're in a basketball program, you gotta have fast feet work. Dance teaches you fast feet work. So teach you everything. I think it is important for all students, whether they're in my dance class or they're in any class whatsoever at any high school, to always understand that you learn more from failure than you do from success. And it's okay not to be good at something, but it's not okay to stop trying. Honestly, I believe dance is one of the most beautiful forms of art there is. Especially if you know how to dance. Well, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Chips, 
Yeah, so Jeff, you guys want some? What kind? Mm, hot Cheetos. Uh, they're for a dollar. A dollar? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No. And we're back with more fun and exciting content for you all. Our volleyball ladies Spartans sure have been working hard out there on the court. Today they have a non-league home game against Paris High School at 6.30 p.m. Be sure to be watching the upcoming games as well. Our varsity football team has been training hard every day in preparations for the season. Last Friday, they had an away game against our rival school, Fontana High School. This game was surely won for the books as it was full of uh, intense game plans and loud cheers from the team, staff, and student body. In case you missed it, there's a recap of what the event went down last Friday night. That was a fun game to be at. Yeah, we gotta be, keep showing our boys the support they deserve for putting so many hours of hard work to re represent our school. Well, Spartans, unfortunately, that's all we have. That's all we have for today. But stay tuned after the credits of, for a special game show for our team has put together for you. I'm Brian Marino, and I'm Alice Gonzalez. Thank you for watching Spartan TV. Make it a great day, Spartans. You, you deserve, deserve it. it. Hello Spartans and welcome to our debut show, J Hills Jeopardy. Today's contestants are Angel Lagunas, Brittany Tinoco, and Bethany Hamilton. Let's remember, whoever wins this game will be able to participate in our next game. Oh. So the order will be Angel, Brittany, and Bethany. Let's get the show on the road. Okay, Angel? Um, let's go with Movie 300. Movies 300? Yeah. Who is Michael Myers' main target throughout the entire series? That's easy. His sister? That is correct. Brittany? Uh, music for a hundred. Music for a hundred? Yeah. Okay. What is Drake's most recent album? Scorpion? That is also correct. Sting. <laughs> um, music 300. Okay. Which rapper has an ice cream cone tattooed on his cheek? <laughs> Little pup. <laughs> That is incorrect. I'm sorry, you got it wrong. But you can get the bonus points. What is Cardi <laughs> B's daughter's name? Um, I don't know, Stormy, I guess. It's <laughs> oh also incorrect, I'm sorry. So, so destined was Brittany. What is Cardi B's daughter's name? Culture. That is correct. Our next contestant. Better than you, dog. Bethany? Um, Movies 100. Movies 100? What is the top grossing movie of all time? That's easy. Avengers Endgame. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> movies 200. What does Dark Vader reveal to Luke in the famous scene? Dark Vader um, is Luke's father. That is correct. Yeah. Brittany? Um, music 200? Music 200. Who did Machine Gun Kelly diss early last year? Come on, that's easy. I don't know it. Oh, know it. of course you don't know it. Can I steal it? Does anyone want to steal it? I will steal it. J. Cole. That is incorrect. What the Bethany? Sports 200. You don't want to steal that? No. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Which NBA team won the most championships? Or has the most championships. Obviously, Lakers. Ooh. 
That is incorrect. <gasps> oh. Well, that's all to the time we have today. We'll see you all next week. Have an amazing day, Spartans. The choice is yours. Bye.